Hey folks, what's happening? It's Patrick, and uh, this is the third video for the PatrickTerror.com. I'm flying solo today. My uh, chief executive officer is not here with me to help with the camera work, so I'm both narrating and doing all the camera stuff. Um, I would like to say this is my first take, but I wouldn't lie to my loyal fans. Uh, this is the third take and I'm incredibly embarrassed. But we've got to push on. Um, today I'm reviewing uh, a Transporter Star Trek Creo set that came out in conjunction with the um, Star Trek Into Darkness movie. Um, this is a very cool set that didn't cost very much money. It's on the cheaper side. Um, it comes with two Creo figures. We've got Chekhov they are on the uh, teleport stand and we also have as a surprise this little guy a Klingon who, uh, who looks exactly like uh, the little figures in the movies um, that's kind of a little spoiler but you know not really um, also I guess they weren't figures in the movies they were actual characters but we, we, we move on um, so anyway, we've got a little check off there, and he's on the, the stand. It's pretty, um, pretty basic. Uh, you know, you've got these little stickers, which you can kind of see. Kind of makes it look like you're inside the teleportation room. You've got the little blue things there, the little pad. And uh, the neat trick that comes with all of the Star Trek Creos is they all feature some sort of light action. And so I'm going to pull this trigger here. And voila, I hope you saw that blue flashing light because uh, Chekhov has just been teleported to what we can presume is either the Klingon homeworld or just some sort of part in space. So there he is, you know, and he's waiting to step off the little balcony there and uh, potentially face his, his Klingon nemesis. Um, both figures are pretty uh, basic. I mean, the Klingon comes with this sweet little uh, uh, sword thing. I'm sure it has an actual name. Forgive me for not knowing it. Um, his leg joints are a little loose. Um, everything about him uh, otherwise is pretty good. I mean, there's a de decent amount of uh, characteristics going on here. Um, all of the joints are pretty cool. He doesn't have a helmet that's removable that's just kind of made into his head, but that's okay. Um, the same goes for Chekhov. Um, kind of a basic looking figure. Um, the expression on him is pretty cool. He has a phaser, which is really neat. Um, and then to top it off, it comes with this little Creo block. So if you want, you could always dis display um, one of the little figures. I think it's just a nice touch. I think this came in under $20 or maybe, maybe a little less. Um, I honestly can't recall. I also don't have the instructions anymore. For all I know, I may have put this thing together in my sleep. We don't know. But um, overall, it was pretty easy to, to do. Um, yeah, the Creos, frankly, they're not quite as, um, I would say, efficient, maybe, as the, um, the Lego toys. I always find that they're just a little bit more confusing when putting them together. Um, but other than that, I mean, it's not necessarily an inferior product, and they've got some cool brands, and uh, I think these are fun for both kids and uh, Star Trek friends, uh, fans alike.